Okay, I'm live. So let me make sure it's turned off in the other window. Um, it is now. Okay, so how is everybody? I hope everybody's had a wonderful, what is it, Sunday today? I'm losing track of days. I don't know about anybody else. It's kind of gone a little bit, kind of, it's like they're molding into one. So they say that's a sign of ascension, don't they? They say that, you know, time is an illusion and we're starting to see it now. So who knows? I know that the days are going really quick. I know that. Um, yeah, it has been pretty full on and it's going to be for the next few weeks. So that's why I thought I'm going to come on and just do some little quick astrology readings. So I'm just going to turn my volume down, make sure. Um, good morning, Vera. <laughs> good morning, Nadine. So I hope everybody is in a good place today. Um, there's a few things that I wanted to talk about, but I'll talk about them in a minute. So if we get a few more people, I know that people see these live anyway. They see these kind of tomorrow or through the week because they're kind of weekly predictions that you can go back and listen to. Um, you know, well, I suppose you can listen to them anytime because sometimes I've been on other people's um, predictions and it's the wrong week but it was still very relevant to me so um, it's a, it can be like that so yeah if you are seeing these and it isn't the usual time um, you know then still pick up on on um, on what the message is so I'm gonna be doing the astrology like I said so um, this is for the 13th through to the 19th of September 2021 and uh, we're going to go through so just need to know um, what I know Vera is an Aries um, Nadine what are you are you uh, what's your birth sign I knew Vera said I knew you were going live some somehow Almost slept and picked up my phone. Ping and there's Ali. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to go live, actually. I was just going to do these readings recorded and then just send them over there tomorrow. That's what I was going to do. Um, but I thought I've been seeing the chat. Um, we've got like a chat and I've been seeing lots of other people going through a lot of things. So I thought, you know, um, why not put put my thoughts across maybe give other people you know a different opinion or or you know whether it's worth anything or not I don't know but I thought I'd give it out so Nadine you're a Leo okay do you know what your sun moon and rising is do you know that so um so that I can see which you know so those two are fire signs so we'll probably start with fire signs for you guys Okay, um, and then after that, we'll have to have a look. So I will be on holiday from next Friday. Okay, so I will probably, I doubt very much if I'll be doing the astrology next Monday. So I am really sorry about that. So we're going to miss a week um, and then things will be back to normal after that. So um, we're only going for a few days just to, we're going to Cornwall. So, yeah, and um, it's going to be, I think, just a really nice break. I'm only going with my mum and, um, wish Greg was coming, but going with my mum and my um, a family friend, uh, Clifford. So going with, with those guys, it's going to be lovely. It's always very laid back. We've been on holiday many times before. and. Um, you know, it's just nice to be with kind of just people that aren't that they're, they're not looking for fast paced holidays either. And I can't do them anymore. So. So, yeah, that's uh, that's how it is. Oh, Julie, I've just been messaging you, haven't I? Um, yeah. So thank you, Julie, for sending me those bits. I really do appreciate it. And I'll 
be making some lovely things from just uh, sending me some jewelry making uh, beads and bits and pieces so I do love that I love 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 oh thank you I hope so too yeah we're going to go to Tintagel we're going to go to Camelot Castle so yeah it's going to be a magical magical journey and as soon as you go into Cornwall kind of Glastonbury Cornwall as soon as you go into that energy you're feeling it you'll feel it there is a magical energy that is in that land that it is in the earth okay so yeah I might might do a little live one when we're there um down at Tintagel so that I can take you guys with me yeah it'll be lovely okay so a lot of people in America I'm feeling for a lot of people in America I really am my heart is going out to you guys so a lot of people because of the um dictatorship that is going on out there you um there is a forced uh, jabberwocky um for any employer who um for his staff his or her staff if they are more than a hundred it's like a compulsory thing and it's you know it used to be for healthcare workers and now it's for any staff you know member who is is that so I am really feeling for you I, I really am I mean I I don't know I know what I would do it might not be what you would do but I know what I would do I would not be dictated to and I would wait until I was sacked and I would get me being sacked live I would record it because there will be trials going on and you will be entitled to compensation and once they do this they are violating so many things they are violating you know your rights as a human being you know your body your right okay under no circumstances uh, should anybody make you take a um experimental jabberwocky nobody should people are dying out there I mean you know I know this is getting heavy but it's the truth do you really think a job is that important is it in the scheme of things it isn't it really really isn't and you may get the placebo one you might but you might not. If you do, I think you should have your will written. And I know this is going to sound really, really strong. And I'm sorry for people who are listening to this, who might not have the same opinion of, as me, but um, if you've got children, you're going to be shedding in front of your children. So even if your child is not having that, you're you're having a live virus in you people are still they're still pass, they're still getting it what they say this is for they're still getting it gibraltar israel highly nearly all of them double jabberwocked both all of them and yet people are still getting it people are still getting it what does that tell you? How many times do you have to be given the clues that this is goes far beyond a health thing? And to, to then go into that and for the sake of a job, and I know it's, you know, a job is a job. It could be you could, could say this is your vocation, but there are ways you can go self-employed. Maybe it's time for more and more people to go self-employed. To start to say, do you know what this is going to be? No one's going to dictate to me. I am going to do this. So get through it all. Let them sack you for not having it. Get it in writing that they are actually dismissing you because you won't. Get rid of all of that. 
put, put all that down and then wait for the, the Nuremberg trials. You'll be, you'll be in for a lot of money because it's all gonna come out. It really will. And in the meantime, it's time to spend some more time with your family. It's time to maybe search out what your life path is. Maybe what you think your life path is, is not your life path. Maybe it's time to get everybody together and, and um, go on strike, like the lorry drivers are. Good luck to them. I think it's amazing what they're doing, standing up. It is time to stand up and say no. And, you know, I know some people are going to think I'm, I'm wrong. I don't care. I just wanted to come on here because I love and I care about each of you. And I care that you're being forced to do something and you think there's no other options. Because there are options. You know, it's like I haven't got an option, you know, because I want to fly. Well, pilots are passing away from having it because they're having blood clots, especially um, in the, uh, the, the air pressure. So they are, that's what's happening. Five in one week was, was in British Airways, Airways. How long do you think it's going to be before they're not, you know, there's going to be a serious accident because of this or... They have to say, well, actually, our insurance doesn't cover it. Because the other thing is, if you do get this done, you, um, your life insurance will not pay out your life insurance. The company who is issuing these is not liable because it's experimental. So it's not liable. So that's it, you're stuck. So if you have lasting effects, your children going blind. This is recent. Look up the Veers reports. Um, in England, it's the yellow card, look them up. And you know that only a fifth of the, of the percentage of people who have side effects or worse are actually reported on there. So you have to times it you know, to get the real figure, times it by however many people haven't been putting it on there. So all I'm saying is it isn't worth your life. But if you still want to have it done or feel that you have to, then I am praying for you. And I am hoping that, that you receive the placebo one because there are some ones out there that, you know, if, if this did work, there wouldn't be people still catching it after having the double one. It doesn't work. So I'm hoping that you have the, the one that is, it, it has got no, no side effects because it's just placebo one. So that, that's what my, my um, feeling is. And I had to come on here to say it, so. Um, I don't know what else to say apart from really give it some some thought because it's not just about you if you then if you have this and then you make love to your partner your partner um, is receiving that as well so you're either lying next to them you're in their company it's it's the shedding that's that's happening so anyway enough of all that I'm not going to talk about it anymore um, Vera says 90% of side effects are not reported. There you go. That's what that's what I just said. Okay, so there you go. It's getting a bit serious now. I think it's time to pick a side. Yep. And I know wh which side I'm standing. I'm standing on the right side of history. Um, I'm not going to be, my kids aren't going to grow up thinking, or my grandkids aren't going to be thinking, what did she do when all of this craziness was going on? What did what did what did my nan nan do? What did she do? What did my mum do? Did she just sit back and go, there's not really what much we can do, really? Yes, there is. Just say your piece, stand your ground. Yeah, you might get your Facebook closed down. Big deal. Do you know what I mean? If it happens, it happens. What can I do? I can't do anything about that. 
all I know is I can stand in my truth and get on my soapbox every now and again. If one person listens to me, then happy days. As long as you know exactly what the score is. Because it's not just about you. And each time that you, you give in, what you're doing is you're saying, I agree. I agree to you dictating to me. And then the pressure and the power gets, gets stronger and stronger and more, more power, more and more power, more and more intimidation, more and more divide between the two people, you know, people that are, the people that are not. You know, the last time this happened was in Blooming Germany, in, in Gestapo camps, where they were experimenting on people and they didn't have a choice. We're really going back to that, where they had to wear a little star. You know, some places you have to go into a supermarket, you have to have a little badge on that says whether you have or haven't been jabbed. You know, what's the world coming to? It's what I want to know. What is going on? Because I'm sure I am not part of it and I don't want to be part of it. Yeah, so love to everybody. Um, I'm going to start the, um, the readings now. And um, so looks as if we've got a lot of fire signs here. So we do have anybody else out there who's a fire sign? So we've got Leo and we've got Vera who's an Aries. Um, that includes your sun, moon and rising. Let me know what your sun, moon and rising is. Okay, and, um, and then I'll know which ones to do after that. So let's start with the fire signs. These are only going to be little ones, everybody, because um, I've really, um, I've got so much to do. Uh, so Julie's a Scorpio. Okay, so that's water signs there. Yeah, I agree with you, Vera. I agree. Yeah. So, Gracie, hello. I'm pleased that you got your bits. Well, that's nice, Tom, that you're a crooner. That's lovely. I don't think I've read for crooners before. Maybe I have. I don't know. I keep forgetting my sun, moon, and rising signs. You have to write them down. Found out my mum's, uh, she is a, she's Pisces and she's Scorpio and Cancerian. So she's all three of the water signs. So, okay, so that looks like we've got water signs there. So fire and water. So we do fire, then we'll do water. <clears throat> and then after that, we'll do air signs. And then we'll do Taurus, yeah? That sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Okay. So I've had to do new ones because I can't find my little book with all of my ones, the normal ones in. I can't find it. It's gone missing. Okay. So we will start out with Leo. You're welcome to pop in, Vera, if you want to. You are welcome to. I can send you the link. Is that right? Yay. Leo's. Oh, hi, Sharon. So Sagittarius, so fire sign as well. So we'll do, um, we do Leo, then Sagittarius, then Aries. Okay. So there we go. All right. Let's have a little look. So I'm just going to do just little tasters today. Um, for, for all the signs. I just didn't want to leave you two weeks without um, hearing anything. Okay, because then um, obviously I'm not going to be doing next week. Right, so Vera is. <laughs> Vera's in her PJs and computers turned up. Oh, okay, no problem. Right, so I'm going to tune into Leo's. This is for the 13th 
through to the 19th. I thought if I did that, then you guys can see the week that it is as well. Does that sound okay? <laughs> it's not going to play. Oh dear. I put that there. And then that up there. Ta da! <laughs> now you can't see that. Just. <laughs> Very badly, but just. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's good, Vera, yeah. Because you do come on and do little readings with us, don't you, for astrology? Okay, so I'm just going to tune into Leo. So a typical Leo, Leos, they like attention, okay? They like to be the vibrant person in the room. Um, they also quite like sitting back and analysing people as well. Um, so they've got this mixture um, of personalities. They have a lot of pride i.e. lion, lion energy. Um, they also have a lot of kind of um, the fiery nature, but they do tend to get bored easily. So they always have to be amused or they have to get, um, you know, people around them. It's like they like entertainment. Okay, that's what they like. Hello, Mary Jane. Hello. Okay, so Leo's 13th through to the 19th, 19th September. That card didn't want to go out. I'll read it in a minute. Okay, so the card that just flew out um, was the um, pentacles, the six of pentacles. And that is um, quite obviously juggling of money. But this would have to be something really um, exciting okay it would have to be something out of the the norm okay something that you wouldn't normally do okay or wouldn't normally experience so this wouldn't be just paying bills because obviously we all do that um, this would have to be something you know that you're saving up for maybe um, you know you're kind of uh, juggling about money for you know a new car or something big okay so and um, that's what that means there. Okay, so the beginning of the week, beginning of the week is going to be a very spiritual feeling for you guys, Leos. I'm seeing that you're going to have to walk sideways around situations that you just can't change anymore. Um, it's like, you know, I've got to kind of look at it and I've got to be, I've got to analyze things. Um, I want to remain neutral. Okay, so it could be that you're just putting yourself in this kind of a safety bubble um, for a little bit. There is a bit of anger around, a bit of frustration, a bit of anger. Now, that could be you feeling angry. It could be other people around you. I don't know if you've noticed that anybody who has had this um, are feeling more angry. If you've had it, you might be experiencing that as well. There's definitely something to that. Okay, because I've been hearing it a lot. Okay. Um, you have got this spiritual um, psychic ability that is just going to be growing and getting stronger and stronger. You're going to be very protective over your family, okay, at this time. Um, it feels as if, if there's any anger or, or that sort of thing or frustration going on around your family, you're going to be there with bells on trying to sort this out, okay? You're not going to have any, um, any problems with that. You're going to be straight, straight up and... You know, it's like, how dare you talk to my family like that? OK, it could be friend. OK, um, family friend. There's going to be a little bit of isolation. Then it's like you're going to withdraw into your cave a little bit. Um, you're going to be kind of wanting to spend less time out with other people. It could be that you're sensing their energy is a little bit too heavy, a little bit too much. Um, you're going to the heart of the matter and dealing with anything that needs to be dealt with. And that is to do with kind of the home, DIY, um, organization, getting rid of things, throwing things out that you don't want anymore, reorganizing um, 
I feel as if some of you was all reorganised in a bedroom. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of kind of um, things that is needed to be done. It's like you keep putting it off and putting it off. Well, this is going to be, I'm getting it done. The end of the week for Leos. End of the week, you've learned how to control that feeling of, of um, anger or you've, you've learned how to control other people who are kind of throwing that energy at you. You've kind of said, I don't think so. It's not going to happen anymore. You know, you're not going to push the buttons. I'm not going to allow you to make me feel angry or make me feel disappointed anymore. Um, I am, you know, it's, it's like being true to yourself and getting back to that center kind of energy. Also, there is an obstacle that is coming up to do with your ambition, to do with something that you have, um, you know, been working towards. So this is um, a project. This can be, um, you know, a, it's, it's a bit like, um, you know, that project could be a hobby. It could be a life path. It could be, you know, promotion within an existing job. There seems to be an obstacle, something that is, is causing a problem. And there seems to be a lot of kind of ang um, anger or annoyance. OK, and they're also showing me that other people are nagging. Other people are trying to tell you what to do. They're coming at you. OK, and I think I've been one of those people, I'm afraid, um, in the beginning of this. Um, so, yeah, it's like they're telling you things that you don't want to hear. It's like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Um, what you do have to wonder is what is the agenda behind it? If the agenda is because that person loves and cares for you and they are trying to tell you something that whatever choice you make, you can't reverse it. You can't change your mind. It's done. OK, it's done. Once you've done it, it's done. OK, so um, but whatever is whatever's going on around you, you've learned it's it's like you've come into your own power and you understand what it is that you want, what it is that you're going to do. OK, so um, it's a good ending to that week. OK, so that is for Leo's. OK. Um, so Vera is um, Aries, Aquarius, Taurus and Capricorn. OK. So. Um, hello, Dawn. How are you doing? Hello, Ali and Soul family. Uh, definitely me, Leo rising. Aha. Yep. Hello, not Leo, but working on painting bedroom furniture. Ah, OK, there is always a common theme with all signs. There is that there, there is. And I, I usually see it working its way into every kind of reading that I do. OK, so there we go. That's for Leo's. OK, so we're now going to do Sagittarius. OK. Sagittarians, let's see what's happening with you guys. Sagittarius, the beginning of the week for Sagittarians. Okay, so I'm seeing um, some things that needing to be sorted out to do with travel movement, okay? For some of you, it will be linked with a car, okay? A car or a vehicle. For some of you, it's to do with public transport. It's to do with kind of getting from A to B. I'm seeing maps and I'm seeing a journey in front of you. Now, for others of you, the journey will be a, a different kind. Um, sometimes the journey will be because you have, um, you've got some, some um, hurdles to climb. You've got to get past uh, certain um, kind of obstacles and challenges and things like that. Um, and it's like you're racing towards a junction in your life at this particular point, and you've got to decide which way you're going, okay, with that. Um, so I know that Mary Jane just said that there is, um, there's something about um, the common theme, okay? And, um, who said that they're doing their furniture? 
Okay, yeah, so uh, we've got a bit of DIY in this one as well. Um, so that's what's funny. Okay, so this is my DIY moving changes and, uh, and that sort of thing. So you can see there's a ladder there. Uh, okay, there's boxes. And it's like things half finished, just sort of mean com completing things and finishing things. So my three of pentacles is always my uh, my day DIY and changes in the home. Um, also, it can mean that there is to do with keys and a property or keys and your home. OK, now there's a key in a hand here. There is a, a home in the background. There's a nice car and there's money around and it feels as if I'm very proud of what it is that I've got, what it is that I've achieved. Um, what it's been that that having that gratitude energy, okay, around you. So that's how your week is going to start, being grateful, but also knowing that you've got a journey, okay. That journey could be a physical journey, it could be um, an emotional journey, okay. Um, so the middle of the week, the middle of the week, everything is a bit upside down. So there's a lot of waiting going on. It's like I've got to wait for this. I've got to wait for that. I've got to wait for this person. I've got to do this. It's all going to be a little bit heavy, okay, with this kind of waiting periods, okay, here. Um, I can see you standing up for yourself or standing up for somebody that you feel very strongly about, okay. This is not a time for you to give in and say, you know, okay, I'll, um, you know, I'll let you off that or you know, it doesn't matter, don't worry about it. Um, because there's a lot of kind of energy of, there's a principle behind this. Um, this is right, this is wrong, this is clearly not right. Um, I clearly need to make my point very strong, okay, about this. You're gonna project yourself forward, okay, Sagittarians. You're going to be catapulting yourself, there's a little moth. <laughs> You're gonna be catapulting yourself um, onto the next challenge that you have. It's like I've completed that, I've done that, or I can't complete it fully because I've got to wait for this person or I've got to wait for this um, situation to finish developing, okay? Um, so until then, you're kind of moving on with other things, different, different matters. Now, the end of the week, Okay, for Sagittarians, which is me, I'm a Sagittarian as well, I've got Sagittarian um, moon. Okay, so there's going to be a sadness, I'm afraid, around because you're having to let someone go or something go. Okay, it's the walking away. It's the, that kind of like that heaviness saying, I can't do this anymore. I'm really sorry, but I can't. You know, this, you know, enough is enough. You know, it's that kind of finality energy that I'm seeing around you. It is about putting yourself first. It's about saying, I am sick and tired of having um, to be second best. I'm sick and tired of you not being truthful or you not giving me the right energy or, you know, it's all to do with kind of your self-worth and that's really going to start to rise up but it will mean you're going to have to stop does that make sense you're going to have to walk away you're going to have to say I'm done okay now for some of you that will mean a literal thing does that make sense that you'll literally walk away for others of you it will be that you just um, have decided to to switch off OK, so that, that can mean sometimes that you're in that person's company, but switched off or it can mean that you have, have switched off and walked away. Um, absolutely. There's a lot of secrecy energy around and this secrecy is making you feel as well that um, things aren't aren't right as well. I shouldn't I shouldn't have to try and work out where you are, what you're doing. I shouldn't have to work out uh, why you're not telling me. Um, you know, not telling me things that, that you maybe tell other people. Uh, what's so secretive about it? It could also be that you're finding yourself being secretive 
um, because maybe you don't like the reaction when you actually tell them the truth. Maybe this person that you're kind of having problems with is being unreasonable. And then when you're uh, when you don't tell them, um, you know, just to save the arguments, they think that you're being disloyal. OK, so it's all getting us. It's all getting a little bit complex. And so I'm seeing this emotional kind of letting go energy. OK, um, towards the end of the week. OK, so that's for Sagittarians. Uh, no, you haven't missed Aries. I'm just going to do Aries now. <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> that better? Yes, Aries. Okay, let's have a look at Aries then. Our oh, page. Hello, Paige, darling. And um, Ali, you were spot on again last week for Virgo. I'll send donations as soon as. Oh, thank you for that, Paige. Thank you very much. Because you do. Um, send me donations which I, I I really appreciate I really do um what I've done is I've added you to um, my patreon face I know you're not a patreon but you're kind of like a patreon um so I've what I've done is I've put you on that page so that you'll be able to see all the classes and workshops and everything on there and also you'll be able to join in on the monthly um the monthly meeting and things so um you know yeah, that, that's what I, I did. I don't know if I messaged you. Hi, Lisa. Is Lisa there? Uh, Sagittarius rising. Ah, yep. Sagittarius. So Donna. Yay. Hi, love. Did I miss Leo? Hope everyone is well. Yes, you did. I'm afraid uh, Leo was the first one I did. Um, Julie said, you are always right on, Ali. Uh, thank you for everything you do. Oh, and you, Julie. Um, I need to do the same for you because you are a supporter of me. You always give me above and beyond. You always do. And, you know, I really appreciate it. I really do. So, um, so I'm going to write myself a little note and add Julie to it as well. Just in case you wanted to see any of the classes and anything like that, you can, um, you can then pop in there and, uh, and have a look. Oh, I will enjoy the replay. Yeah. I mean, what is your sun, moon and rising? Uh, maybe we've still got those um, to look at. OK, do you mind if I just make a quick drink, guys? I'm really thirsty. So I'm just going to make that. I'm going to use my new mug from Vera, a Benji mug. A beautiful Benji boy is in the spirit world now. Um, but still very much around us all, feel him. Um, he was like a, like a mascot doggy for our spiritual classes. He was always there supporting in the background. Um, really special, special doggy. And obviously we've got our pets as well. They always join in with us on the classes as well. They're always in the background. You'll see Mo flying in a minute. He should knock everything flying as he does um, for his cat treats. And then um, Vera's also got Miss Charming Lee as well. So we do like our pets and our kids. You know, with the classes, you don't have to worry about, oh my goodness, I can't come because I've got children running around. It doesn't matter to us. It really doesn't matter. That's what the mute button's for. You see what I mean? So, you know, kids can come and say hi. Um, you know, the kids quite like it, you know, saying hi to everybody. And then um, we kind of get on with things. So, yeah, it's nice. So just um, do myself a drink. So what's everybody else been doing today? What's been happening in your worlds? Greg's um, shaved his goatee off now um, and he's been um, swimming in the sea. So he's had a lovely time. So he's going to be flying over here. Um, he'll be in the UK on the 16th of October. So really 
happy about that and hopefully we're going to then fly somewhere um, to get married so um, but we're going to do a proper party on the Siesta Key Beach uh, we're going to do a blessing there and a get together and um, so and um, and then I, I, we need a blessing and a get together for my family in England and um, my friendships in England so um, so yeah we're going to cover all bases so we just we just want to um, any excuse for a party really an excuse for a get together for everybody <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, the 16th will be here. I worked then, did a Fiesta, a Siesta Sunset Live. Ah, oh, check out Siesta Key Live um, on Donna's page there. Oh, lovely. Really gorgeous. I gave Miss Charming me a bath last night and she rewarded me with the most beautiful soul to soul conversation. Oh, that's lovely. Cats usually hate water, don't they? Uh, really need to find out how do I say it? Moon rising or something like that. An astrologer told me it years ago, but I'm blanking out, I suppose. I think I'm supposed to read Scorpio. So what I did, I found out for, about my mum, the summer in the moon and rising. What I did was I went to, I, I put it in a search engine, what is my sun, moon and rising? And you have to put your location, your time and your day of your birth. And then it will give you your sun, moon and rising. There are some calculators out there that are, are very difficult. They make it bloody difficult, actually. Um, so you need to find one that is very clear because when they come out with all these different terms, I'm not astrology minded. I do these little readings, but you know, that's about my limit really. Um, so yeah, you can, um, you can look it up that way. I can't wait to attend the Sester Key wedding. Yeah, that'd be great, wouldn't it? I'll walk down to the grandma tree to meet you all. That's that's exactly where we wanted, because that's where Greg actually realized that I was actually, uh, I had ascended, I was down here. He thought I his twin flame was still in spirit, um, but it was when he was looking at Todd's friends. Yep, I was here. Um, I can't remember what time I was born. Um, it doesn't matter. I think you can put kind of AM or PM or there's a little button that says, I don't know. And it will just give you the most kind of, you know, basic uh, one. So, uh, Amanda, this is beautiful, Ali, and you are a lovely couple. Oh, thank you. We, we make each other very happy. I'll have to go in my storage to see my Baptist papers. Okay. So Vera says she does hate it, but my special muzzle with soap reservoir, uh, she did get a massage too, and she was finally free of dust mite feces. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, wait till you feel the energy of step in this court stand. I know, I can't wait to step in the sand. I've actually felt the sand because he sent me some sand. Yeah, and it did feel lovely. Palm tree ocean, ion wedding. Yay! And everybody's welcome. Oh, awesome. Okay, I will look that up then. Yay. That was weird. I heard a plop as if something went in my drink and I was waiting to see that there was a bloody moth in it or something. I'm gonna scoop it out and try and save its life. Um, but there's nothing in there. That was bizarre. But it definitely sounded like a plop. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> oh, hi, Kate. Hi, hi, hi. It's called the singing sand, is it, Mary? Does it make you want to sing? Or can you feel something in the energy from it? 
Okay, we're going to do Aries now, everybody. Aries, Aries. Let's have a look and see what's going on with Aries. Okay. This is the 13th through to the 19th of September 2021 for Aries. Oh, that sounds about right, Vera. Okay. All right. So lots of hard work. It's going to be very, very busy for you guys. The beginning of the week, Aries, there's like, I've got lists of jobs to do and no time to do them. It's like, I've got this and this and this and this. And then after that, I've got this, this and this. Okay. So it's going to feel very, very full on. Okay. For you guys at the beginning of the week, Aries. Um, you're also going to be very dynamic about your future. OK, it's a bit like um, everything unlocking in your mind. And you being clearer than you've been for ages and you just feel like. It's like super organized, super clear. No more fogginess. And it's all, all it's like very direct. It's like. You know, it's going to be a wonderful feeling for you guys, um, Aries, at the beginning of the week. Now, that doesn't mean to say that, you know, you, you might not have some underlying emotional matters, um, but these emotional matters, you're, you're aiming to get rid of those. You're aiming to keep yourself as busy as possible um, so that you're not um, going through, you know, too much. Do you see what I mean? It's, it's like, I've got to be, I've got to keep myself grounded. And what I'm going to do, I can't deal with my emotional stuff. So I'm just going to keep busy with everything else. And then all of a sudden, everything starts to settle. Okay. So um, there may be links with overseas around you guys, um, Aries, as well. So there could be overseas, maybe an invite um, overseas or Maybe you've decided to look up and see if you can go and visit somebody overseas. I have noticed that here in England, they are starting to um, advertise holidays now, okay, like getaways, getaway packages and things like that, where they hadn't been. There hadn't been much of that about, and now there is. So, um, yeah, um, I think things are moving, moving forward. Um, the middle of the week, we've got the Sagittarian energy, okay? So this doesn't mean to say, obviously, that you're Sagittarian. It can mean that there's a feminine kick up the arse energy, okay, in your life now, around you, through you, okay? This is kind of like the organization skills of a woman who is, is good at keeping the home tidy and organized, you know, sorting out this, sorting out that, you know, running around and having list on list on list on list, you know. Um, so, the yeah, the, the organisation is going to be very, very good, okay, around you. There seems to be a new job that you've started, something new, a project, um, a new money-making scheme. You know, um, it could be that you've got promotion or extra responsibility within a job. Um, it's going to be a bit sudden. There seems to be a sudden leap forward. It's like something is is going on that you've got to quick, 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 you know, think and, you know, reorganize plans that you thought you'd got sorted. Um, they're not sorted now. So we've got to do this. So it's a being about, you know, being able to think um, on the go. All right. So everything is full on busy. And I've also now got to do this. Um, it's going to be a bit of a shock for other people because you're going to be acting in a way that you didn't usually act. OK, um, but that's not a not a bad thing. It just means that, you know, sometimes we have to adapt um, to certain situations. Um, there's also, you know, as if that wasn't dramatic enough, you've then got the deal with it card, the most sarcastic card in the deck, my three of swords. It means go to the heart of the matter and deal with things. Do not wait. OK, um, you've got the the um, a character around you who's got tears, 
they're, they're emotional, their feelings rise to the surface. They can sometimes act in a way um, that is, you know, really vulnerable um, or they're letting their vulnerability show on the outside. Um, there is a, a period of being bored or kind of holding on to, you know, I, I, I'm being busy doing this, this and this, but I'm perhaps the, the things, the emotional stuff that I've got going on, I'm not able to finish or sort out. Um, and this is purely because, um, you know, you've got other priorities, okay, other priorities to, to do. Um, and then along comes somebody who's got this emotional dilemma, the emotional situation going on, and you're having to stop what you're doing um, when you were right in the flow of getting everything organized and sorted, and then drop everything to help this person, because this person needs you emotionally at this time. Okay, so there you go for Aries, and that's the fire signs. Oh, and um, so what did we say? We said we'll do the water signs now. And um, so in a minute, we're going to be doing Scorpio. Okay, just want to catch up and make sure I've caught up with the with what people are, are typing out. Mm. Oh, lots. So it was Benji that did that drop sound. Yeah. So no singing has quartz in the sand, the energy in it swooshes when you walk on it. Oh, does it? Wow. The quartz sound when you sink your feet in it. It's a feeling unlike any other, uh, any other sand. Can't wait to see you. Time is flying. You'll be here in no time. Yeah, what I would like to do is he's going to be here for a month. Uh, from the 16th through to the 16th of November. And I'm hoping to then fly back out with him um, on the 16th of November um, and stay with him for, I don't know how many weeks, but um, stay with him. And uh, there we can have the beach meet up um, over there. So that's kind of the plan. But as you guys know, we've had to rearrange plans before. Um, and the only reason why I can then maybe fly out with him is because I'll be Mrs. Prescott and uh, I won't have to, there won't be as many rules and regulations about uh, the jab and stuff before I get there. So Vera said Tuesday around 2 p.m. the project manager will come and, and hear my complaints. Good, Vera. That is a good thing. So... Lovely, waiting to go to Scotland. Nice one, Mary Jane. This sand is the main reason I moved to Siesta Key. All the beaches down this coast are beautiful, but oh, this sand clinched it for me. Oh, Mary Jane, yes, love the beaches on the Gulf. My mum lived in Pensacola. Pensacola, Pensacola. Uh, Vera said, I have said I could not come to America because of my animals, especially because of Benji, but he's no longer on Earth. Yeah, and don't know how long Miss Charmingly can keep fighting on her health matters. I know she's not a well puddy cat, is she? Mary Jane, yeah. So Donna says, say Vera, do you have the link for the sun, moon and rising? You can let us know on here and then somebody might be able to find it out for you, Donna. Um, why don't you maybe inbox me, Vera, I'm, I'm giving you work to do. Uh, but Vera is really good about finding out what your sun, moon and rising is. So you could, you know, maybe message Vera. She might be able to tell you or someone else on here might be able to look it up for you. Um, Kate, thank you. That was spot on. Good. <laughs> Try astrology.com, says Kate. Donna, well, actually, at least you will be here when it's not scorching hot. So that will be absolutely perfect. Oh, Deb says she yearns for Siesta Key Beach. Hi, Deb. No, I don't. And I'm on my phone, so can't go. Sorry for it now. Sorry. Oh, okay. So you're on your phone. Got you, got you. I understand. 
if she pastes link here, I can give it a go. I think Kate has, has done a link there for you. She's done um, tryastrology.com. Okay, and they'll be hopefully able to. Oh, how are you doing, Deb? All right. So, little break. I quite like to have a little break in between. Heat pad back on. All right. So, starting with Scorpio, and then we're going to do Pisces and then Cancer. Okay. So, Scorpio first. Hi, Linda. There we go. Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> Deb, you're hanging. <laughs> Does that mean the same thing it means in, in England, the fact that you had lots to drink? Is that what that means? I'm hanging. Is that what you mean by that? If so, well done. <laughs> you obviously had a good time. Put my feet up in the chair. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Okay, what does it mean to you then? I'm hanging. Oh, there you go. Lisa's just put that up. Astro.com for horoscopes. Yes. <laughs> oh, so it means hanging means chilling out here. I see. Yeah. I suppose it can mean that here as well. But a lot of the time it's like I'm hanging means you've got a headache because you had loads to drink in the past. <laughs> I love the differences. It makes me giggle listening to the differences between his wording and my wording. All right, so I'm going to tune in now to Scorpios. Uh, Scorpios, this is my daughter, Rhiannon. Um, she's Scorpio. And Scorpios, they don't like being cornered and don't like being given no choices, okay? That's the, the, the quickest way to upset a Scorpio is to kind of corner them and say, you know, when they're feeling overwhelmed or everything's going on for them to be bombarded with questions. Okay, Scorpios don't work well with that. They also are very protective of other people um, more so than themselves. So they can be very protective, fiercely protected. Okay, protective, sorry. Okay, so let's have a look for Scorpios. 13th through to the 19th of September. Okay, so a little bit of worry is going on. Um, it's like... Um, I'll put it you know when it's like I've got a niggly feeling that won't go away I'm worried about this I'm worried about that all my emotions are coming to the surface and you know I don't know how to really deal with those emotions um so it's a little bit tough okay um around you in the beginning of the week it does feel as if you need to get out a lot more than you have been to be around people if you like that sort of thing or if you want, you know, get out and about in nature, kind of walk about um, in amongst the trees or, you know, like Donna's just explained, if you've got a beach near you, um, walk about up and down the beach. OK, but there's a need to kind of get your head clear. OK, it just feels as if there's a little bit of overwhelming feelings. Um, there seems to be a new job pending or new money pending for you guys. I feel that this is going to come out of the blue, that all of a sudden you've got loads to do. All of a sudden um, there is an opportunity that you're facing that you didn't have before. OK, so um, and I feel that this new money is going to be very handy uh, for you. OK, or for you and your family at the beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, there's a complicated love life um, um, situation around you. Now, this doesn't have to be yours, although it can be. OK, it can be if it is somebody else's, then it would mean that 
their relationship is affecting you and affecting your life. OK, because it feels as if it's like a boomerang. It's on, then it's off. It's on, then it's off. You know, it's like um, this. It's like I'm trying to keep the balance. I'm trying to keep the peace, but I can't keep keep that going. You know, it's a bit of a challenge to actually keep everybody happy at this time. Um, you know, the temperance is all about trying to um, trying to act um, the way that other people need you to act or to be. OK, and there's a feeling of being drained a little bit um, at this time. Now, if you are in a situation where there's a complicated love life and that complicated love life is yourself, I'm going to look into that for you. OK, so let's have a look and see what's going on with these two people. Remember, it could be you or it could be the two other people connected. OK, so the issue is commitment. So this could be people dancing around the idea of commitment. It could be that there's one person who is ready to commit and the other person isn't. It could be that there is um, somebody who is changing their mind more often than not. OK, about this, um, which is um, and it's the communication lines are really, really bad. OK. So what's the issue? OK, so the issue for one of them is this. Introjection. So what do I see with introjection? You know where one person is trying to heal another, but there's a feeling of being drained, a feeling of one person putting more energy in than the other, one person you know, trying to take on the other person's, um, you know, problems or energy. There is another one, uh, and I'm sensing that there's another issue to do with insecurity. And with the insecurity, also with the lack of communication, then we can let our mind wander into um, areas that may not be the actual truth, um, but kind of our, um, our paranoia then kicks in. And it's like, well, I'm imagining this now and this now because you haven't been in touch with me. So it's definitely to do with, um, you know, trying to get to the bottom, OK, of what the real issues are going on. OK, so that's basically what's happening with this boomerang relationship. There. OK, so towards the end of the week, um, the end of the week, everything seems to be back on track, everything. We've got this kind of um, this is kind of an intensity with love. It's kind of embracing that energy of being together. It's a lovely feeling of um, of happiness. It's a it's kind of where you have come to that conclusion that all is um, all is all is well. There's been an overflowing of love and affection. And the honesty is rising to the surface. Now, this is where it sometimes can get complicated because this is where you have to listen to what I've said and not necessarily put faces to the players that are involved. Now, sometimes in life, there's a complicated love life and there's times where other people come into our lives and they're not, but we won't know about them yet. You know, this is new people coming into our lives. Say, uh, by the end of the week, there's somebody else coming in who sweeps you off your feet or who makes you realise that actually you weren't happy really in the first place. You were just trying to patch things up and make things fit and make things right when actually that was kind of um, done a long time ago. You see what I mean? And here's what it feels like to have a new, vibrant, sexy, passionate, um, you know, deep rooted kind of um, easy going relationship. And it's like, didn't even think these existed anymore. I thought it all had to be complicated. I thought I had to work hard at this relationship when actually I don't. OK, so I'm not saying either one. I'm just leaving it open. 
okay to you guys. It could be that this complicated relationship is like somebody clicks and says, hold on a minute, I'm going to lose this person if I don't pull myself together. And that's where the communication starts to happen then. Do you see what I mean? And the relationship gets stronger. Okay. Um, I am seeing well done. Congratulations around you. I feel as if there's a party feeling, a commitment, everybody's together. And it's like, oh my God, we did it. Or I did it. Or you did it. Well done. Well done. So yeah, a lot of excitement. Okay, so there you go for Scorpios. Okay, let's have a read. Okay, couldn't find it on those links, so I found this. Um, we'll see if I can navigate it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Julie, boomerang, I know, I know. Nailed it, Ali Scorpio, need um, to need a sweep off my feet. Yeah, why not? Put it out there, Mary Jane. Put it out there. Okay, so we're going to go for Pisces. Okay, so I'm Pisces, so is my mum. She's Pisces. In fact, my mum is all air signs. Uh, she's got sun, moon and rising all in the in the air signs found out recently. Mm -hmm. OK, here we go for Pisces. beginning of the week for Pisces lots and lots of paperwork lots of organizations lots of application forms or forms or documents to fill out there does seem to be a lot of kind of nagging a lot of people trying to give you information trying to talk at you everything wants a little bit of your attention um, it feels an overwhelming feeling of please give me space Please help me. Um, there seems to be a person around, or this could be how you're feeling, um, of sulking, not getting what you want. Um, a sense of I'm going to throw my toys out of my pram now because it's like I, nobody is listening to me. I keep telling people that this is what my needs are. And people just still keep coming at me and coming at me and coming at me. So there's this strong feeling of, you know, um, people need to understand me before I start to scream. OK, um, so that's the, the beginning of the week. By the middle of the week for Pisces. Um, so we did say that there is a common theme is running uh, through. And once again, we've got DIY, changes in the house, organisation skills. There is also... Um, a lovely feeling of togetherness, of being centred, of saying to yourself, I am in a, I'm in a good place. You know, I've got this balance of, of within myself. I found that tranquility that I was looking for at the beginning of this week. Um, I've now found it. So you are going to be a little bit more uh, closed off and uh, not telling everybody what you're doing every moment of every day. Um, now, this, this kind of energy is going to be exactly what you need, and what you needed to do. So uh, sometimes we can tell ourselves off and say, and say oh, I, I should have, shouldn't have been so, um, oh, I don't know, um, I shouldn't have been so open. You know, I need to kind of, you know, hold back a little bit. That, you know, for some people that might be what well, you're doing wrong, you shouldn't be doing that. Um, or it's kind of saying, well, what business of it is it of other people? Do other people tell me what they're doing every moment of every day? Either. Maybe they don't. Maybe, you know, so if it's OK for them, then it's OK for you. OK, so that doesn't mean to say them make people 
worry about you. Um, but it's kind of like, you know, just be a little bit more kind of like, I'm just going to spend, you know, 10 minutes to myself. Uh, they think I'm still at work. I finished early. I've come home and I've got a little bit of time to me. OK, so it's a bit like clawing back um, some time and feeling good about it. But I, I, like I said, I'm seeing furniture moving about. Um, so that could be new furniture. It could be uh, reorganizing your furniture, reorganizing your room structures, uh, that type of thing. So once again, we've got keys to a property, keys to a home. I'm seeing new doors opening um, regarding new business ideas and businesses. And I feel that this is around you or it's around a partner that is connected to you. Um, if you haven't got a partner who um, shares an income, does that make sense with you? Then it wouldn't be that, okay? It has to affect your money, okay? If this person is, is if this is linked to other people, if not, then there are new doors opening for you. Um, and there is a way forward where you have to look at things in black and white and you have to say, um, you know, it's like steer your um, vehicle of life into either this direction or this direction, make a decision, you know, dis, you know, uh, it's like get on board and don't hold back, okay? Because it's like looking at things, this is fair, this is unfair, this is black, this is white, this is not gray, this is this, this is that. Sometimes we kind of, it's like we are, um, Okay, they're telling me about, uh, for a lot of you, a lot of you are having to say, I don't um, have a choice. And I think this is where this comes in. This is where I was kind of giving, uh, this came from channeled as well. So the information that I was given in the, in the beginning when I got on my soapbox about the, um, the, you know, the employers in, in the USA who are having to make people get this thing. Okay, um, and what my, my personal opinion was and also what Spirit gave me, the, they gave me the urge to talk to you about it. And, it, and you know, for, for people who haven't seen the beginning of this, um, I'd go back and watch it because basic, but the gist of it is that for me, uh, personally, if somebody was making me uh, do that, I would tell them to do one because this cannot be reversed. Once you've had it done, you are stuck with it. If it goes wrong, which there is lots of indications that it can, you will either lose your life or you will shed this to other people around you, family, friends, lovers, your children, people. You're, and, and it doesn't stop you from getting it. It doesn't stop you. In fact, there's more people that have actually got it than uh, once they've had that. Okay, look at Gibral Gibraltar. Look at their highly, their high, the high population of people that have had it. And yet most of the people are in hospital okay, who've had the, this and they're ill. Um, the people who are losing their sight, the people who, you know, children losing their, ear, their hearing. And what do you do? Can you sue the, the company? No, they're not liable. Does your insurance company pay out? No, because you've got, you've taken part in an experimental, um, experimental thing. So um, when I'm looking at these cards uh, for Pisces at the end of this week, it's very, it, it really feels as if I've got a dilemma over where I'm going in my life. And sometimes we need to say, do you know what? Is my job worth me losing my life or affecting people around me? Is it? Is it worth it? And, you know, sometimes it's like, I think it's time for me to go self-employed. I think it's time for me to do what I love to do now, to make that worthwhile, to go onto my life path. 
So anyway, um, that's what I'm seeing very much around Pisces people, um, because we've got, this is about my pathway, new doors opening to me. It's about that, because we've got the chariots, like now watch, which road am I going down? Am I going down that road or this road? What do I do? And we've got the card that says, I've really got to make a decision and a choice. And the answer to that is stay at your job and wait for them to sack you. Wait till you get it in black and white. Wait for them to write it down and tell you that the reason why you aren't being employed anymore is because of that. And you'll be in for huge amounts of compensation because this is gonna come out and you're gonna be in for a lot of money. Okay, but you have to stay to the end. So make sure you get it on camera if you can. Um, but that's what I would do. It's just what I'm saying. I would do that. I'd say, go on. I'm not getting it done. You'll have to sack me. So, um, you know, people are going on strike. You know, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> you know, this is what the lorry drivers are doing. Well done. Hold my hat off to you lot. Um, cancerians now. So sorry about me going off on one, but it's such a, it's a, it's really affecting me. It's like I'm even dreaming about it. I was going to do this. Um, I was just going, I wasn't going to do it live. I was just going to do a recording of it and then just upload it. But my guide said to me that you've got to get your point across. And I've been looking at it in, in chats and things like that. I've been looking at it and, um, you know, and people messaging me, asking me what to do, what to do. Um, you know, if it was mandatory in the place where I was living, then I would move. Um, I would go on a very long holiday. I'd rent out my property and I'd go and live somewhere else because there's no way, no way. It, it's like it would be over my dead body. <laughs> would I, would I do it? So, Cancerians now. There we go, Cancerians, here we go. So let's have a look. The mandate with the Jabberwocky is wrong. Yeah. It is. Sorry, everybody, let me get on a soapbox, but I'm so, I feel so passionate about it. And I love people so much. I love people. I love um, my Facebook friends and I love the people that I connected with here. And my heart is going out to you guys with this horrible dilemma. I just, it breaks my heart. It really does. They're not. No, Donna, they're not mandating it in England. But there are talks about it. There are talks about the passport. Um, I stepped away a moment, I'm sure, if you mentioned it. No, they're, they're not. Okay. There was somebody who said she's in a real dilemma because she's pregnant and they're trying to make her. They're trying to make her. And if they don't, that they're thinking of taking the children away from the parents and that's in Quebec. I don't know how true that is. Um, sometimes they kind of put it out there as a fear thing, but it's not an actual thing. Um, so I'm hoping it's that. Um, but yeah, in Quebec in the USA, um, are they actually going to be doing that? They've decided in the UK not to implement the V the v passports oh good dawn that's brilliant news see i don't keep up with it all but um that's very good news like that okay so on onwards and upwards cancerians so this is my other daughter this is megan she hates me talking about anything like this so megan if you're watching i'm so sorry um <laughs> so um cancerians so this is the 13th through to the 19th of September, 
lovely card to start with. You've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups is I love myself. I'm in a good place. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? That's going to be the feeling, that centered feeling. OK, within. It's lovely. There is also going to be discussions and talks about rerouting or moving for you guys. Um, so it could be that you've decided, it could be that you've decided right in the next three years, um, I'm going to be moving or in the next kind of um, the next shift of jobs, I'm going to be changing my job or I'm going to be um, moving from here to here to do with work or, you know, I'm going to um, swap and change things about I used to do this and now I'm going to do this. So, yeah, there's a lot of kind of shifting and changing. OK, around you guys, uh, Cancerians. OK, there's going to be people around you, maybe, who are talking about rerouting or moving themselves. Um, so that person would have to be somebody very close to you. OK, um, I feel that you're taking a gamble um, at this point. It seems to be a gamble situation, weighing up of the pros and the cons, deciding on whether or not that's the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do. OK, it's linking with money matters. It's linked with kind of what well, if I carry on um, with that, then, you know, is that going to be the right way forward for me or should I do this? So it's like weighing up the pros and the cons. OK, so the middle of the week for Cancerians, you've got another brilliant card, Cancerians. You've got the sun. OK, so the sun is happiness and brightness. It's a boost of confidence. It's where things look very much more sunnier than they have done, um, especially in one or, or two areas of your life. You are putting up some boundaries. You are saying that's OK, but that's not OK. Um, I'm OK with that, but I'm not doing this. Um, so those boundaries are going up around you where you're making some rules and regulations. OK, you're making them very clear. Uh, to the people that are around you as well. The people will know. It's like, um, I don't know if I've made myself clear, but this is how I feel. And this is what I'm okay with. And this is what I'm not okay with. And just so that you know, um, there is a, a good sense of weighing up the pros and the cons um, with a lot of areas of your life as well. You've got the kind of Libra energy. So I'm not saying you are Libra or you might have that rising. I don't know. Um, but this is where you're kind of Librans tend to kind of look at things, you know, this this is good. This is not good. I need to do this, need to do that. So it, it's basically working it all out. OK. Um, you know, talk about decision after decision after decision. Uh, you've got decision making the beginning, decision making the middle and decision making the end. OK, that's what's going on. Um, so you are now kind of racing forward. So you as well have got the chariot card and the chariot is like racing to the junction and saying, do I go in that direction or this direction? Now, remember, we just had this in one of the other ones. OK, where it's like got to weigh things up, the black and the white, you know, with the horses. It's kind of like, you know, this pathway or this pathway, you know, and we've got to make a fast decision. This isn't going to wait. It's got to be done. It's got to be made now. We then have the temperance, which is about um, kind of feeling as if I've got to keep everybody happy. But then do I, in order to do that, in order to make everybody else happy, um, am I draining myself? You know, is, is that the right thing to do, to drain myself in order to, to be fair to others? Um, and we've got the Scorpio energy, which is somebody around you at this time who've got a bit of a sting in their tail. Um, so it could be that they are thinking you've made the wrong decision and why did you do that? And, you know, I'm annoyed with you and why you, you know. So it's, it's a bit of confrontation, I think, coming from this person who's got a sting. Now, they don't have to be a Scorpio in order for them to come across like this. Because let's face it, in our life, uh, we do have, um, you know, we do act in certain ways that are very similar to um, another um, astrology sign. That's just what we do. OK, so there you go. Um, that is all the water signs now. OK. 
Okay, so we then said we're going to go through um, Aquarius and then we're going to do Gemini and then Libra. <laughs> you just got off your soapbox, Donna. They need to recall the VAX. Yes, they do. They recall products after one of the uh, fatal things. Yes, they do. And this is a good fighting point. When you phone up the um, CDC to make, no, FDA, when you phoned up, because there's a, a recording of a person who actually phoned up and said, at what point, how many number of people have to have a fatal experience um, before you actually recall this in, recoil this in? How many people have to? How many people have already? And I think they announced 6,000. And that is officially on the FDA. Officially, 6,000. And I think that's just in the USA. That's not um, the world. That's just the USA. And, and it's like they, this guy could not put a number to it. And he was avoiding putting a number to it. So how many more? You know, this is genocide. The world's gone mad. It has. There are loads more than that. I know there is, but that's what they admitted to. Even that amount, even that amount is wrong, but that's what they admitted to officially. So Aquarius. These were on so many levels. Yeah. And now they're thinking of, do, of, of um, doing this to the, the, uh, the, the, I think, 12-year-olds upwards, 15, 12 to 15-year-olds. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Off your soapbox again. <laughs> Get spiritual. My dress still think that's a spiritual fight as well, anyway. Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Um, quirky characters, they can be a little bit, you know, think outside the box. They don't take themselves seriously. They don't like other people taking themselves seriously. They're more likely to knock them off their pedestal by um, making it funny, um, by, you know, getting that kind of quirky sense of humour out there. Okay, so that's the Aquarian energy. So this is the 13th through to the 19th of September 2021. Right, starting off with rejection, sorry. Um, so you could be either being rejected or you could be, you know, giving out that uh, rejection. It could be that you nobody's actually officially rejected anybody, but there's a feeling of I'm putting more effort in than they are. And something's not quite right. This isn't a balanced relationship. This isn't a balanced friendship. This isn't a balanced um, family member. OK, treating me that way. You know, it's all to do with kind of that, you know, looking things up uh, and deciding that it's there's something wrong with it. There's just something not quite right. So um, there is going to be a letting go period. Um, and it's not to say that you're letting go to let that person get away with it. It's more to do with, I'm not playing this game anymore. Okay. Um, sometimes it's, sometimes we have to say, well, you put up the rule plan. So if that's the rules, I'll play with those rules then. So then when you start to treat that person in the same way as they treat you, sometimes they start to go, oh, that's not right. It's like, no, it's not right, is it? it doesn't, you don't like it, do you? No, I don't like it either. And sometimes that's, I know that can be called mind games, but sometimes it can actually make the other person click in ways that kind of nagging doesn't get through. Okay, so it does feel as if it's somebody around you is um, going to be speaking out, okay, about um, and having a sharp, the sharp words, 
sharp tongue. And I think this is where this kind of um, feeling of either rejection or out of balance kind of uh, within a relationship is going to be forming here. It's like I've come to the end of my patience. I've come to the end of my balance. OK, with that. Um, there will be this kind of like I'm done now. I'm not. I, I've I've had enough. OK, so sometimes that can mean that you literally walk away. Sometimes that means that you just um, play them at that game. And sometimes you just recall away. All right. So there's going to be some very funny. This is your card in my co cosmic deck um, because this is my quirky character. And if you have a look in the lapel there, um, in the cravat, there's the uh, zigzag, zigzag. OK, and that is the sign for Aquarius. OK, and um, so the Aquarius characters like to read. They like to information, like to find out, um, you know, more than other people do. But there is this kind of sense of. It's a, it's a sense of being able to think outside of what other people do. Um, you know, it's like I would have never thought of doing that. I would have never thought of getting out of that situation in that way. Um, these people, Aquarius people, they make brilliant writers, OK, of books. Um, they can do problem solving in a way that not many people have um, have been able to. OK, so if you are an Aquarius and you've had an idea to write a book, um, look at the book there. This can be a book of your life. It can be a book uh, linking to, you know, um, a, I don't know, a, a, a made up story to sort of mean that you've got. OK, but there's something happening, OK, to do with information and knowledge. There is a character around you who can be very strong willed. OK, this person, they know what they want. They can be very, um, you know, this is what we're doing and this is how we do it. And, you know, and it's like that dominant energy can sometimes make you feel certainly that you are not in control um, because they're trying to control you. Now, Aquarian people, the way that you handle this particular um, situation it's going to be quite funny because it's not going to be your normal hold on a minute who do you think you're talking to um, they're going to do it in a very kind of uh, creative way of putting that person back in their place and that person might not even realize that that's what's happened um, but uh, yeah watch that space it's going to be a funny time with you guys Aquarians uh, there seems to be a tearful person around somebody who's feeling very emotional their, their emotions are rising to the surface and are needing to be um, helped in some way. OK, so I'm seeing legal or official documents um, at the, the at the end of this week for Aquarius. OK, so I'm seeing contracts, letters, um, you know, writing of um, important. It's like important information either but it feels as if it's official. So it's a letter, um, a form, a document. OK, it can be information coming to you that is of great importance. I've got the, um, the, the sense here of somebody who hasn't, nor, hasn't been talking to you or you haven't been talking to them. And then all of a sudden you're back in communication. Um, and this has been a bit of a... Um, it's a bit of a complex situation, a situation that you um, can't really change because it has to come from each person. Does that make sense? Each person has to understand what the other person, you know, his problem was, you know, why did that person react that way? Why have I reacted that way to that person? Do you see what I mean? So, but we have got the wishes card. So it does indicate that whoever has fallen out um, or not talking to the other person, um, they have a, a wish that is um, that is there. Okay, so um, it's trying to work out what that what that will be. But I do think there's potential to get that conversation back going again. Okay. So there you go. That is for Aquarius. Gemini now. 
time for another drink. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this. So it's a bit, a bit stiffer, so it actually stays. So I'll make another drink. So Mary Jane, a great more documents. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Makes sense for me. All the requirements for moving, still tying up things. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's my pleasure. If there is anybody who wants me to, I'm doing um, kind of little questions and things. If you wanted me to go into a timeline on a certain subject, a certain kind of um, pathway that you are on, you are welcome to, um, to send me that, send me the question. Try not to tell me too many details, but send me the question. Um, and um, onto the website, and uh, they're twenty dollars at the moment. Okay, so um, yeah, twenty dollars if you want me to just answer a question. Okay, I am doing um, some remote viewing as well, so um, sometimes there might be that sort of thing coming up for you. Um, so it can be missing persons or missing information. Um, that you know you you need help with. I will gladly look into it as much as I possibly can. Can't guarantee anything, as you know. That's not how the remote viewing works. But I am enjoying it. Hi Brandy. So did I do Virgo and Scorpio yet? I have done Scorpio, but I haven't done Virgo yet. So we're doing Gemini, uh, then Libra, and then Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So So because I'm not here doing this next Monday, guys, is there anybody else who fancies doing some readings live out there on a, on a Monday or a Sunday for the week? I'm throwing it out there, you know. Usually I'd have people who, um, who join me doing these. But there's nothing stopping you guys doing it, you know. Treat it as a challenge. Just so, you know, at the end of the day, what, what is, is a free, it's a free little kind of um, a message for all different birth signs. And it's kind of nice for people to have that. You know, you're, if you do it from the heart, then you're not gonna go wrong, are you? The right intentions. Oh, I understand Brandy. Sounds like you're talking some deserved time off. <laughs> yeah, I'm going on a holiday um, on Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think I'm back, back, back Monday sometime. So, but I won't be doing astrology that day. I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> but I doubt it. Hello, Rayleigh. Hello. Ah, oh, Vera says she'll think about it. Are you also doing the um, teaching as well on Monday night? Are oh, you? Yeah. yeah, I'm going to Cornwall. Yeah, we're going to um, Tintagel, 
um, we're going to, uh, you know, um, where is it? Camelot Castle. And it's run by this um, really um, interesting couple. Um, and they, they go live. It's called Camelot Castle. They go live and interview lots of people. Um, so I'm hoping to kind of go and meet them um, over there. Yeah. No, it's it's nice to have a holiday. I was hoping that Greg would we we could hang on and, and Greg come with us, but yeah, I think we're gonna we're probably gonna go obviously somewhere to get married anyway. So when he's over here. You've read about the castle, Brandy, yeah. Princess Queen. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, there's stories about Merlin's cave and all sorts of uh, things. So I will go live. I'll do a live video when I'm there so that people can have a look around and see. It'd be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Um, it sounds fun. Um, Donna says, you are so deserving. It's important for us all in this business to replenish our energy, taking time off. Yeah, Linda. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna enjoy myself. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do Gemini now, guys. Here we go. I'm gonna change my cards. So You're always taking beach breaks. So you had a past life, did you? Was it in a castle? Is that why you got links there? Right, so concentrate, Ali, on Gemini, 13th through to 19th of September. I need those ones, and I need those ones. All right, so the beginning of the week, beginning of the week, there's the energy of the moon, okay, around you. So uh, Gemini's, you're gonna be feeling the effects of the moon. You're gonna be feeling um, as if, it, it's a bit like energized one minute and drained the next, okay? Emotional one minute and kind of um, on a high the next. It's going to be very fluctuating. OK, the um, the emotions okay, around this time, there's going to be a lot of reminiscing about the past. This could be where people are getting in touch with you. People that you haven't seen for a long time are going to be making contact or you'll be kind of, um, you know, when their name pops up and you think, oh, I wonder how they are. I'm just going to contact them and um, and, and connect. And um, there is a character around you who is going to be kind of bugging you a bit. Because one minute they're up for fun and going out and and then the next minute it's not. The next minute they are irritable with you or they don't want you to contact them at the certain times. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of kind of um, up and down kind of energies, okay, with this particular person. But this new person, well, new old person, um, this old person coming back into your life has definitely got your attention because that person you know they understand you they understand what you've been through and um, they're also understanding of you know the it, it's like uh, when we experience things in the past those people share the same memory and when that person is sharing that mem memory with you it's really special you know, that's unique to you and that person. And this is why when these people uh, come back into our lives, it means so much, okay? Um, it's like revisiting energies, revisiting visit, visiting emotions. Now, 
there are times where revisiting emotions aren't, aren't nice. Uh, so this doesn't always have to be good stuff. Just I mean, sometimes this is kind of reliving um, other emotions. OK, but uh, either way, I know that there was a there's always a need. OK, at this time um, and it has to be at a certain point in our lives. OK, eyelashes are hurting. Can't wait to take them off. I'll put the magnetic ones on. They're amazing. Anyway, um, I love this card. This card is beautiful. Um, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. This is solidarity. OK, solidarity with people that really care about you. OK, this is this is it's, it's like standing up for each other. You know, if you if you need me, I'm here for you. And it's not just a saying it's a, it's that person means it okay um and that kind of real goddess energy okay um you know for for the guys out there it can be you know friendships you know male friendships you know as well okay um so the beginning of the week by the middle of the week the middle of the week you've got kind of a lot of spiritual energy around you or somebody from the spirit world um will be kind of um be be drifting into your life a lot more it could be that you start saying different phrases that they would say or you know um the memories that you've got are of that person okay from the past and because you keep talking about that person um that person then draws and um, draws in close because that is how it works you know um this is why when you go um, to a spiritualist church and you go to the event um, you know at the events there start to talk to your loved one um, in the spirit world try try and say come on um, you know come through tonight um, invite them to kind of because this the more that you you believe that they can come close the more that they will okay so um, so yes definitely spiritual communication here now, um, there are some obstacles, OK, and there are links with having to deal with um, something official or some it can be a bill. Um, or, you know. Um, I don't know what you guys in America call bill, do you call them bills like gas bill, electric bill? Is that what you guys call them um, here in England? They're bills, but. Um, so it's something to do with quibbling an amount on that bill. It's like, well, that isn't right. OK, I didn't work it out to be that. Uh, so what are you playing at? What is going on? So the two of pentacles, you are. Um, yeah, there's an analyzing of paperwork. It is bills. OK, thanks, Brandy. Um, yeah, so it's an analyzing of paperwork and analyzing of workings out. Um, somebody working out this or working out that. And, you know, um, so, yeah, it's something, yeah, you're just going through things, okay, going through things. Um, hi, hi, Chris Davis Hart, hello. Um, yeah, so there seems to be a few obstacles, practical things that you need to get, um, to get moving on with, okay, it's like somehow, um, you know, getting to the bottom of that. OK, and the end of the week for Gemini's Gemini's, I'm seeing a, a strong feeling that somebody's moving. OK, um, or someone's just moved. OK, with Gemini's because I'm seeing the contracts. I'm seeing the signatures on paper and I feel as if it's all on official stuff. OK, um, the for other people, the, there is justice. This is to do with what you deserve and getting what it is that you deserve and with this getting what you deserve there is a strong feeling of make sure that you are seen in the best light possible so it can be that there is that other people have a different way of seeing you than you see you and there is going to be a pleasant energy of realizing that you're not um, you know, we can be very highly critical of ourselves and there is going to be a boost of confidence that is going to come your way when you start realising, you know, that other people are seeing you this way. OK, so um, that's going to be a nice surprise for you. 
Um, for um, other people, I'm actually seeing the moving, like I said, it's the movement card. I'm going to show you the card so you know what I mean. Okay, it's like we're off. We're off and ready. We're on our journey. Okay, so I suppose this could be a holiday. Um, but uh, yeah, we are well and truly organized there. Um, there is a lot of partying, a lot of kind of fun energy. Okay, it's like it could be outside events. It could be, you know, laughing and joking. Okay, with other people. Okay, finally letting your hair down. Okay, I love this card. Um, this is where you're fired up about what it is that you're going to do next. Okay, it's like um, I've got this ambition. Um, this ambition is kind of just just getting fired up inside me at the moment, and my it's like um, I've gone past the, the 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 thought pattern. I've gone past that, and I know that I'm now going to put it into action. Um, but for some people, you have to do the planning bit. You have to find out um, the next phase of this this plan. So um, you know we've got to do that first, and then this. Okay. So there you go. That's what I see for um, you, Gemini's. Okay. What have we got? Um, so Donna says, I'm a Leo cusp of Virgo. Do you guys listen to your cusp sign? I wouldn't know what my cusp sign is, Donna. What's a cusp, cusp sign? Meaning that you're very close to it. Because if it is the case, I'm close to Aries. Because I'm the 18th of March. So, yeah. So Brandy, I'm a Virgo and Scorpio rising. So listen to both of those, yeah. Okay, so Greg is a triple Libra. And I've got Libra rising. You're a day before Virgo starts, I see, yeah. So um, I think it changes over on the 21st, doesn't it? So if I'm the 18th, then I'm really close to being Aries. So Chris is a double Libra. Double Libra. Yeah. What about the rest of you? What are your sun, moon and risings? John, the 23rd of um, Virgo. So starts August the 22nd. Yes, yeah, so you you are the, the cusp. Yeah. Um, so Linda is a double Sagittarius sun and moon. Okay. Chris, my rising is cancer. I see. Traveling was an, an addition. Addiction. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. There's so much more to it, isn't there? I mean, I haven't got the inclination to go too much into astrology, but I'm fascinated when other people tell me about it. But it's like the things that you want to study are the things. I mean, I want to study uh, uh, palmistry um, and I want to make my own rune set. That's the kind of things. And obviously make my own tarot cards. That's what I would like to do. So, you know, when you think to yourself, you can't really fit in anything else. But yeah. So Sagittarian traits. OK. And Brandy said my moon is Taurus. OK, so that's hard worker, which is what you do, Brandy, don't you? So Mary Jane says Cancer, Aquarius, Rising and Aries, Sun. OK, Donna, I'm only guessing I should read Virgo because I'm so close to it. Um, I have no idea of astrology. Numerology is not on my resume, no, not nor me. Um, Linda, yeah, I've seen businesses that help with making your own tarot cards. 
I can send you info. Yeah, thank you, Linda. Um, I think somebody sent me info before, but it's all these things. It's like you've got to have some time off in order um, to get that going. So uh, Brandy says, I studied astrology for 13 years. Well done, Brandy. So Donna, uh, my cousins are experts in that area, but I find it fun. Yeah, yeah. I've heard a quote about astrology. Uh, millionaire, millionaires don't use astrology, but billionaires do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah, they may have a point there. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to use another deck of cards now for um, Libra. Okay, here we go. Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay, so this is Greg and I've got Libra rising. So, um, and for all you other people who've got Libra in your charts. Ooh, these are big cards, so a bit more tricky. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm seriously thinking about it I've actually written a book already um easy an easy guide to tarot reading um so I've started that off and I've been working on the workshops the uh the videos to the workshops as well alongside um the um it's like you can have li uh, there's little tests as well that you that you can do as well and get a certificate at the end of it so uh, that's what I'm working on at the moment yeah yeah well good good I think that's the way to go yeah <laughs> it's very basic at the moment <laughs> so um so here we go with the um, with Libras. Libra, there is a few battles you're going to start off with, unfortunately, at the beginning of the week. And I feel it's to do with kind of um, your security, your money. Um, it's, to, it, you know, that could be the theme of where the battles have been coming in. It could be that you're battling with something that other people have thrown in your direction. To sort of me, it's like, um, you know, it could be their insecurities and their feelings, and they are, you know, um, giving that back to you. Now, there is a person around you at this time. We've got the Queen of Wands, who can be a Sagittarian energy. I'm not saying they are a Sagittarius, um, but they're acting like they, they are right and they want to be in control because they know best. You know, they know how it's got to be and you do it my way. And, um, you know, it's it's like um, it, it's they mean well, but sometimes they can be a little bit too overpowering. OK, with their energy, which can then cause this battle kind of in the communication. OK, that it is to do with um, it's to do with their own insecurities, but it's also to do with, you know, trying to push the buttons of your insecurities. OK, in order to get their point across. So we've got the beginning of emotions, an overflowing of emotions by the middle of the week. Um, this is where you're trying to understand your own emotions, that somebody has somebody is kind of um, pointing the finger um, at some things that you don't understand yet and that you have got to work out. It's like a plan. And they've kind of criticized that plan and that plan then it's like i don't want this to come um you know to come undone so i've got to somehow find out what it is so if ever i'm questioned or ever i'm asked about that i can i can give across the explanation okay it's a bit like somebody just playing on your weaknesses to make them feel feel better if they're feeling vulnerable or alone 
Okay, so by the, like I said, by the middle of the week, there's somebody who's got this sharp tongue and I feel that this person is looking for attention, okay, to shine back at themselves. And I feel that everything seems to be a bit upside down with this, uh, this person and you. It's a bit like that you don't want to, um, to say anything or you don't want to communicate with them. You're kind of giving it time to, to balance out again so that other people aren't going to be, um, you know, it's like you don't want this to blow up into something else or other people to get involved in this kind of bad energy between you and this person. By the, middle, by the end of the week, I feel that your self-employment energy, so if you are self-employed, um, that this is going to be getting very, very strong, very thick and fast. Um, I'm seeing that there is a lot of money around you and this money is coming in from the, um, what you've put out there is going to come back at you. OK, so it's a bit like, you know, you've been pouring lots of positive energy and there is, you know, other people are responding to that. So it could be that you're, you've been getting some business, OK, from, um, you know, this seed that you dropped a while ago and it's taken shape and taken root. And now that is right in front of you. So, yeah, you you kind of. Um, it's like things things come into you remember I do the um, the beaver technique and everyone laughs about the beaver technique um, where you go back into um, if you imagine the river of life and the money that um, the money, the good opportunities, the love, um, all of that is kind of flowing into your life. And if it starts to become a bit of a trickle, meaning that you're getting things coming towards you, but very very slow you know and it's like the energy seems to be blocked somehow then you've got to visualize going back up the river of life back up your river of life and see that there the blockage is there and it's like unpicking the sticks and the twigs and the um and everything that could be stopping you and each one of those represents um it kind of represents you know, a doubt that you had, you know, um, maybe you were, when you were growing up, um, it's a belief that you're never going to get past um, this blockage or that, you know, finances just won't come to you or any of those cancel, clear, delete, all of those. So any of those blockages that we kind of um, in our mind have still got in our, in our head um, and we start to think them, they create this blockage OK, and it starts off with a stick and a twig. And and so every now and again, it's a good idea to have a clear out of this energy. So remove the twigs, remove the sticks and then watch as the river of life comes back towards you and then watch out for random acts of kindness, random acts of generosity. Um, witness, you know, somebody being kind to you, witness um a job that falls into your lap that solves all of the problems that you have right now. Um, it's like, you know, so basically learn to give it to the universe to bring it back to you. OK, it's like I can't think of, of a way past my situation, but allow spirit to allow your loved ones in the spirit world to to come into your life um, with this new idea, this new kind of ambition. OK, so um, it's all coming to you. So, yeah, just get rid of all of the of the blockages and do this every now and again. So because what I'm seeing is it's all coming to you, Librans. Um, you're going to see a flow of positive energy, a flow of of money. And I want to say this for everybody, anybody who's done the beaver technique recently or did it just as I was talking about it. Um, watch and you will see what's what's about around the corner the magician card you know the reason why I said all this is because the magician card um, he is linked with magic and can um, bring magic into your life okay um, from it being a bit stagnant to now it's not stagnant everything is is shifting 
Okay, so get excited about money coming towards you. Get excited about love coming. Get excited about nice um, opportunities, okay, that you maybe thought weren't going to happen, but here they are. Um, so there you go. Uh, so let's have a read back of some of the... <laughs> you definitely sell lots of tarot cards. Yeah. I have a friend in Tennessee, yeah. Um, okay, it should be in the bookstores. That's fabulous. Um, Chris says, ooh, um, Donna said, Donna Rose said, the beaver strategy is great. It's like removing the rocks from the, so the stream can flow. It's true. Yeah, and if it starts to trickle and it's like, well, I get a few nice things, but I want more. Okay, so that's what that is. Mm. Okay, so we've done all the air signs now. So, so far we've done the fire signs, Sagittarius Aries, and that we've done the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and then we've done the, the air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and all of that. Um, so we've got one left, which is Taurus. Uh, so we're gonna do Taurus and then Virgo and then Capricorn, okay. Right, what cards am I using? What deck now? <laughs> Go back to my trusted ones. Oh, the death card. Endings, beginnings, new beginnings. And I'm going to use major arcana cards in the Lightseers tarot. Right, okay, so. So this is Taurus. Taurus people, you can be stubborn. Um, you like to kind of get your job done so that you can then clear your mind and, and have free time. Free time and you, you balance out really well with that, okay? You can be predictable, but it's okay because you still, you can go off the, um, you know, go off the, the road, the well-traveled uh, road and do things differently. But on the whole, you tend to like kind of your, uh, you know what you're doing and where you're going. Okay, energy. Okay, so. Thirteenth, through to the 19th of September, 2021. Or Taurus. Okay, beginning of the week starts with the justice. It starts with legal official documents getting things uh, completed and done okay it's like well that's been hanging over my head for far too long um i've now got to kind of get that done get that organized um it feels as if trying to find little bits of of paperwork um little um receipts and and things it's, it's all to do with kind of the fine print about things okay and those organizations Okay, so you're weighing up the pros and the cons with things as well, with the justice. Um, we need to remember that what other people see uh, within you um, is not what you've been seeing when you, when you maybe look in the mirror and things. So it's like try not to give yourself a hard time or try not to criticise yourself too much. Okay. have a look all right so um you're going to be a little bit withdrawn okay um within yourselves um, um taurus now there is a link with um celebration of love around you somebody showing you that intensity okay now that could be a family member that could be um you know somebody's birthday it could be a get together with friends it could be you know, but for, for some reason, this celebration, you're staying away or you're kind of excluding yourself or putting up your barriers. So it's like even if I saw that you was attending this party or get together, you'd be keeping your boundaries up around yourself at this time so that you can't be hurt 
any more than you have been hurting. So there's definitely a defense mechanism going up around you, especially around love, love life or emotions. It can be that you're sick of people asking you questions about your love life. Um, and um, it's like that judgment that comes over them, you know, when it's like, it, sometimes it's like being single has been a dirty word. Do you see what I mean? It's like um, other people seem to kind of um, judge you if you say, you say that you are single. It's like, um, it's a good thing to be single um, for a bit. Um, you know, especially if you've kind of come out of something that has been heavy or has been, you know, draining your energy. It could be a relationship where you've ended up having to mother and nurture them too much. And then, um, and then what you're doing is you're realigning yourself and showing yourself love and showing yourself, um, you know, care and attention. OK, and so being single is exactly what you should be at that particular point. OK, so it's like sometimes it's a bit sad that other people don't see it that way. And sometimes family members, they can be old fashioned in their belief systems. OK, um, there is a bit of a challenge going on around you. And this challenge is that you are having to fight off, um, fight off. Um, it's like sadness or confusion, okay, um, especially over love and emotions. By the middle of the week, the middle of the week, you've got the magician card, which means that your spirit guides, your loved ones, um, your helpers are going to be really close to you at this time. Um, so if you're um, making any wishes or dreams, um, this basically strongly, um, says to you that they've got they've got it that they've they've got written down your um your requirements they've written down what what it is that was going to make you happy what it is that you need okay so um that that is going to be a strong kind of affirmation when you actually receive it back um because the magician has said i'm here in your life and i've listened to you there's a lot of money being spent out around this time. It could be that at this particular time, it is, it's usually harder work than others. Um, and you're having to um, hold back. Um, it's like hold back your spending habits or, you know, be a bit more practical regarding, um, you know, money that's, that's around you. And this could be for something nice. It doesn't have to be for something bad. Um, but it is about protecting yourself. There seems to be a lot of people around you at this time, Taurians, who are trying to give you advice that you haven't asked for. Um, and you know when sometimes it's like, I wish you wouldn't get involved, okay? It's none of your business, okay? So sometimes we have to be realistic about what we talk about. So if someone says to you, how are you? How's your relationship? The best thing that you can possibly do if you don't want somebody prying into your life is to say, it's all fine, thank you. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go from that. Nobody can start to criticize you. Or whereas if you say, oh, it's been a bit rocky these days, or oh, it's been tricky, you know, we've got this going on, this going on. What you're doing is you're opening the door to them then getting involved and whatever their opinion is is going to flow out of their mouth and into your brain and into your um your deep thoughts okay and and some of their fears and anxieties then become yours because you've just taken it on um because you're listening to them um and they've because they've been given the key um to unlock that that door OK, so, yeah, it's all about kind of nagging a lot of people trying to tell you what to do. OK, and it's all coming at you. By the end of the week, end of the week, we've got that fire energy. OK, inside you Now I know you you are Taurus, which is Earth, but this earthly bull has actually got 
um, that kind of like one in a china shop kind of energy. So you're going to be racing ahead um, and it's like knocking down skittles. Um, skittles represent negativity, um, people around you who are causing problems or trying to, um, any kind of doubts or fears. It's like you are on a mission to get exactly what you have said you're going to get. Um, I'm seeing the obstacles just falling away, um, just drifting away. You are very focused. You know where you're going. OK, the lioness energy. It's like from feeling fluffy to feeling kind of like raw. Um, it's like the strength in you is really showing. Um, and you can see with the four of wands, it's like I've already done well. I know I'm going to go and do something extra big now. OK, extra positive. OK, so, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling. Um, and we finish off with the overflowing of emotions. Uh, sometimes it's like we are saying, I'm ready. I'm ready to receive love. I'm ready to, to receive respect. And I'm not going to be putting up with anything less than what I deserve. OK, so very, very strong energy around you guys, uh, Taurus. Um, of sorting out, but in, in the long term, not in the short term, you're sorting out anybody who has been judging you will, um, will know how you feel about that. <laughs> um, and sometimes it might be for some of you, like a bull in a china shop, it might be a little bit um, blunt. Okay, come across as blunt, but it's okay. It's OK, because everybody then knows where you stand, knows what's what. OK, so there we go. So we're going to Virgos now. And then the last one will be Capricorn. OK, so Chris says, I've been single since 2009. Yeah, it's not a bad place to be. It's OK. It's OK. A lot of balls around me too. I'm surrounded by Taurus here. Very stubborn, but I can't deny the we Leos can be too. <laughs> yeah, ex of mine is Taurus. He fits into that to a T. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Virgos. Virgos, Virgos. 13th through to the 19th, September 2021. I'm seeing or, and, and smelling baking. So I don't know if anybody is baking either cakes or they're baking biscuits or cookies. Um, I'm just smelling that baking energy. It's really nice. Okay. Mmm. Lovely. All right. It's definitely not savoury. It's sweet stuff is what I'm picking up on. OK, so the beginning of the week um, for Virgos. Now, Virgos, they like to plan. They've always got an agenda. They're kind of going, right, OK, um, I'm setting up. That's what my my goal is. And I'm setting up the stepping stones now that lead up to the goal. It's like they like to have a plan. They like to know where they're going. OK, um, now the beginning of the week is going to be a little bit odd for you because you're going to be linked with doing something suddenly, taking a leap of faith. This isn't like you. OK, usually it's like you've got it all mapped out and sorted. But this, you are going, right, OK, I need to do that. And then this and then that. OK, it's going to be the, the stepping stone. Well, this next stepping stone that you've got here will be um, a new job, a new job or new finances, new opportunity that is landing in front of you. It can be extra money with an existing job. Um, it could be self-employment. Um, I'm also seeing that you will be um, then communicating with people or a person that you haven't spoken to for a long time. 
okay it's like we've fallen out or we've been distant and now we're in communication again everything seems to be um, flowing in a better better way okay so that seems to be going well by the middle of the week um, the middle of the week I've got um, a fatherly character or a father figure okay or somebody of dominance around you I'm seeing an independent energy where you're trying to remain independent. You don't want to ask for help or ask for, you know, it's like it could mean that you have to ask for help, but it might mean that you don't really want to. OK, there might be an issue about this, um, you know, about this help. It's like, well, I'll help you. But then you have to listen to all the things that you haven't done that in their opinion, right, you know, and, um, and it's, it's, it's not going to be a nice feeling. Um, but I will say that what you can do with with that money, um, and that opportunity is going to be jaw dropping. Um, because the end result is going to be wonderful. The end result is going to be well worth it. So, so yeah, it just feels as if there seems to be a bit of money linked around somebody in authority. Um, this can be a fatherly character, a father figure, or, um, you know, maybe a dad, okay, um, or someone who tries to act like a dad, okay, but there seems to be juggling of money around. Okay, so the end of the week. End of the week, a lot of people have got forms and paperwork, if you notice that, there's a lot of that happening. OK, because again, I'm seeing documents filled out, documents, um, signing of papers, um, putting your name down for something. OK, and um, there is an energy around you of perfection. It's like everything has to be done um, this way or, you know, I've got my set routine. OK, I've, I've got an OCD energy where I, I have to do that and then this and then that in that order. I can't do it in that order. It has to be in that order. OK, it doesn't have to be really extreme. Um, this can be you or it can be somebody very close to you. OK, that is affecting your life. Um, there is links around that person and links with money um, or links with an opportunity. I'm seeing a complicated love life situation as well around you guys, Virgos. Um, this can be yourself or it can be somebody close. Um, this complication is linked with hurdles or obstacles. It's like we can't get past that obstacle. Um, that is stopping us from being happy or that person is or that situation, or if that if that person only did this, then everything would be fine. So it's like trying to ignore that there is a barrier um, or trying to see past the barrier um, onto what it is that could that you know could make your happy ever after. Um, there is going to be some good feelings though, because it feels as if I'm definitely going into calmer waters. Um, I'm definitely more um focused on the the finishing line okay so you're definitely in that uh, it's like a plan um and that plan is doing really well okay but sometimes we have to do um our own plan um and then running parallel to it it's like but if that person joins me on my plan then we can do this together so it's like uh, a plan A and a plan B. OK, so there you go. That's that's what I see for Virgos. And then the last one is Capricorn. My pain levels are getting quite high. So if anybody are healers out there, could you please send me some? That would be amazing. So uh, Brandy said, well, I have to move again. You don't, do you really, Brandy? Oh my goodness. I have OCD, but not a planner at all. Yeah. So it's not, it's like um there's a um, it's like Pisceans. I'm I've got some Piscean traits, but I do have some of my sun, moon, and rising. I've got all of them. 
Oh, that's okay. Sure, sending healing energy now. It's my lower back. Yeah. It, it, every now and again, it just feels as if someone's kicked me straight in my back. But sometimes I um I get little attacks and things, so I have to make sure it's not that. So I'm going to send it back to center now. Done. Just in case. Just in case they have. Like they can have that back threefold. My stomach's rumbling. Mm. This is what I'm working on at the moment. It's going to be, um, I don't think you can see it properly. This is kind of roses. And it's going to be around a point. And I'm going to put a candle holder next to it. So it's kind of a candle and it's, got quartz crystal so I'm working on that and I'm working on the pyramids and um I've just made some more coasters so yeah I've been pretty busy here and I finally got my printer working so I can send off all the parcels that I said I would send off but I couldn't print off the the labels because my printer jammed but my son-in-law came round today and he's he's got it all sorted out. So I'm up and flowing again because I can't, um, I'm disabled and I cannot queue up in a post office. I can't do it. Um, so it's, um, and my daughter's just had a baby. My other daughter's got, um, you know, disabled uh, daughter. So it's it's like, it's not as easy for me to get the parcels out. Okay, so I like to do it myself, wherever I can. <laughs> Some of that. Some of that. See, my drinks, they go cold. So it looks as if I have loads of drinks, but I only have a little bit. It goes cold. I throw that away, and then I have to make another one. So... I wish they invented a cup that kept your drink warm or this kind of little stick. It's like a metal prong that you could put back in your drink and it would then heat your drink up. You see, I could paint in these things. They would work because I hate cold drinks, cold, hot drinks. <laughs> I don't like them. Oh. Mary Jane, thank you. Sending healing along with Archangel um, Raphael Green, healing energy. Oh, thank you. Yes, there was a little bit of a, an attack going on because it's lifted, my pain's lifted when I noticed that that is what's happened. And it's sometimes it isn't anybody in particular sending it, it's just this energy that sometimes comes up. And it's all, it's all because, um, you know, it's like, it's the light and the dark, basically. If you're sending out lots of light energy, the dark doesn't like it. So we always have to keep our vibrations high and we all have to kind of understand that it doesn't matter who you are and how good your guides are, that every now and again, it just happens every now and again. They just kind of go, yeah, have that. I'm just going to take some more pain relief. Um, they do have a disc that you can plug on to keep your mug warm. Do they? Oh, I'll have to have a look at that, Mary. Yeah. It was always the same when I had the shop or I'm doing face-to-face -face readings. It's like, um, yeah, it's it's like I'm, I'm too busy talking and I don't get around to finishing it when it's hot. 
uh, what's the time? 4.40 a.m. here in the UK. See how your lower back feels. Use an old fashioned tea warmer. <laughs> tea warmer. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely lifted, Donna. Yes, thank you. Eleven forty p.m. Eastern. I know Greg phoned me earlier. He's going to bed early because he's got up at three a.m. Um, to do a stew. That's what you do at three a.m. Um, so he's as bad as I am on his time scales. So he was. He's making a big pot of beef stew today uh, with crusty bread in and butter. And he was watching his fantasy. Well, the, the fantasy football he's been doing with his mates. So. Um, so he was, yeah, he's watching that today. Hello, my love, if you're watching this. <laughs> so I saw my brother today. My brother came and helped me get my sofa because I got a sofa off this, uh, this man and his wife. They were giving away an electric um, sofa. It's really nice. I like it. I'll show you, but I've got all my crap on it. Um, you just press a button and it goes into a back position. That's where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. It goes into a back position and um, you can just, and it, it, you don't have to push it down. Um, because this one where I'm, because you know, um, I've got hiatus hernia, so two giant ones. So I, I have to push it down with my feet. I have to push it down. Um, so, um, so with that one, I don't have to. So my son does that fantasy football. Yeah, do yeah. Apparently it's a big thing in America, isn't it? Fantasy football. And he spends a lot of time kind of doing researching and you know, choosing his team. And and he said his team didn't do very well today, but um this it's you know, there's still loads more time for him to do well. Yeah. Um Stay in receiving mode for everyone else's healing as God works on you, even while you're sleeping. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Donna Rose. Thank you. Um, you're going to have your own personal chef when you're married. I know. I can't believe it. It's so exciting. Um, oh, nice. I got one of those adjustable beds for myself. Well, it is a sofa, but it's obviously goes into that. So. And um, so, yes, my brother and nephews are all in the fan into fantasy football. Yeah. Um, I suppose it makes, like Greg said, it makes um, everybody, it makes every game exciting rather than it just being your team. Because I suppose you're supporting different players, I, I would say. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry for procrastinating. Capricorns. Capricorns, they're, they're born to lead. Okay. You know, they are, they want to lead, but they want it to be easy. Okay. If it gets complicated, that's not what they want. Okay. Um, it's like they started off early in their um, in their work life. They've stayed in the company for years and they've gradually worked their way up, worked their way up, worked their way up, and now they're the boss. So that's the kind of energy um, that um, I'm seeing, okay, around... Uh, around Capricorns okay it's like they they like the nice things in life they can climb to the top of of uh, of trees um, they can climb to it's like a goat you know um, a mountain goat a mountain goat can climb to the top of the mountains can't they um, to get where other people can't get let's plug that back in okay
the big thing here in the States. Yeah. yeah he's definitely, definitely into that. That's what he likes. Um, there we are. Capricorn. I'm going to concentrate on you guys. So 13th through to the 19th of September. Okay. Okay, so Capricorn, the week starts off with a bit of spending. Okay, so you're going to be having a bit of a spend up. It feels as if it's like this is what I've got to do um, or I want to do. It's like an, a big urge to have that spending of money. Um, I'm seeing you breaking free from some sort of rules or regulations. It's like I, I no longer want to... Um, to be restricted. I no longer want to, um, to stop, um, to be stopped. Does that make sense? It's like, uh, it's like uh, you can try and shackle me, but I'm broken, I I'm breaking free. There is a celebration, there's an achievement. It's like a personal feeling of I've done it. Okay, that I'm not taking um, this from anyone. Now, I know that that is a saying that spirit keeps saying, right the way through but that is emotion it's like a, an awakening feeling going through going over the planet it's like in no that is not acceptable this is acceptable but that is not acceptable so um that will keep coming up in readings all the time okay it really will um but the judgment card is like i won't be judged i want to break free from other people's judgment from other people's opinions okay and the three of wands is, I think, from the spirit world saying, well done, we are proud of you. Um, standing up for what you believe in, okay, for not giving in, for not kind of saying, oh, well, I haven't got a choice. Yes, you do. You do have a choice. Sometimes you might not like that choice, but you do have a choice. <clears throat> okay, so this is a very, um, the only time you don't have a choice is when somebody's got a gun to your head. Uh, that's saying you don't have a choice. Okay, there's a bit of spending money. Okay, so um, the middle of the week, um, I can't believe that everybody's got this so far, haven't they? Most people um, in astrology, because we've got the justice card again, which is to do with legalities, official paperwork, contracts, signatures, letters, documents. There's an outspoken feeling. It's like, I'm going to say what I think. I'm going to get it out there. I'm going to tell you. OK, so this this kind of um, it's like an energy of not being able to keep your mouth shut. A bit like I am verbal di diarrhea. Um, and you've got the king of pentacles, which is my Capricorn character in the cosmic deck. You can see the goat at the top up there. See the goat. OK, so the goats climb to the top of the mountains, the top of the um, of where the luscious grass is. That's what they like. So, yeah, this Capricorn energy, um, they can be self-employed. They like to be their own boss or they want to do a job that they just get on with. They don't have somebody breathing down their neck saying, have you done that yet? Have you done that yet? OK, they don't work well like that at all. All right. They can be a team player, um, but. They can take responsibility really well and they can usually um, give across, um, you know, it's like they can be a boss, but not bossy with it. They're very clever like that. OK, um, but yeah, there's some outspoken em emotions and outspoken opinions linked with um, rules and regulations because we've got the justice card. It's to do with legal stuff and it's linked with self-employment. OK as well or being your own boss now the end of the week end of the week um there's going to be some really good news okay you don't get the world card without there being something massively great okay where things are working out better than you thought 
um, it's like you can't believe how well this is all turning out. It's like it was going down that way, which was a dark energy. It was a dark way, dark um, uh, journey. And then all of a sudden, it's like, no, it's all working out better than you thought. So, so there is going to be some last minute changes for the better. People who are kind of worried um, about, you know, what's not happening or, you know, it's like, uh, we want this to change. We want this to change. It's not changing. Oh, my God. And a panic um, only to find out that actually, if you just wait another couple of days, um, then everything is then uh, turned around for the better. And that's what I see going on. But I don't just see it for Capricorns. I am seeing this for this week. and I'm seeing it for all over. Just what I mean, kind of a global energy shift. OK, and it's going to be a last minute change where you thought that it was there was no hope. And then all of a sudden there is a change, OK, where everything seems to be going in this. So try not to make any decisions this week, any permanent decisions that can't that can't be reversed, because I would say that um, by the next week, OK, maybe pushing into 10 days, uh, you're going to see something massive. Um, and you will regret having to make a decision that um, is not a good one. OK, um, so there you go. That's for Capricorns. But it's also a message for everybody. So there you go. I got through the astrology with a bit of help with healing. So thank you. Um, I don't actually have pain right now, which is amazing. Um, so uh, thank you to everybody. Um, yeah, I really would, Linda. You see, I wanted to reply, Linda, to um, there was lots of message going on in the group chat, but I have to be very careful not to not to kind of feel as if I'm dictating. Does that make sense? Um, it's like on here, I'm kind of giving my opinion about what I'm feeling. And yeah, I do get passionate about what I'm feeling and I get very um it's like I'm concerned and I want to wrap people up does that make sense in cotton wool but when I'm so when I'm out here and I'm talking out here I you know you can take it or leave it but if I'm saying it in that group chat then it's a there's a different energy so that's that's why I feel the way I feel so anyway, I'm, I'm sensing big things changing um, that, you know, there's exposure coming out. It's 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 not it's not far away. And I know everybody keeps saying it's not far away. It's not far. But it is. It's like it, it cannot carry on down the line where there is um, this truth is coming out. This truth is coming out. Watch the mainstream media. And usually I say don't watch it, but I would say watch it, especially Tucker. Um, on um, on Fox News, all the all the truth is coming out slowly and slowly and drip 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 drip. But it is um, so, and that's the only way that some people will start to uh, really believe that there is some changes is when they see it on that darn goggle box there. Otherwise, they won't. I will continue on with the testing until the last minute, if I can. Thank you for your beautiful heart. Oh, that's OK, Linda. Um, I, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, because if, if you take if you take that, it's going to affect your son as well um, because of the shedding. And, um, you know. They can't make you. They might say they can, but they actually can't. And if they do actually push you, then you, you that can be on record and you can have them for it. The Nuremberg trials will start. So, and that's that's the time where people have to pick a side. Yeah. Anyway, my lovelies, um, I love you all to pieces. 
I'm sorry if I get on my soapbox, but I, I do feel very strongly about certain things and I have done lots and lots and lots and lots of research. Okay, and not just on Google. <laughs> you have to look elsewhere to find the other truths. And um, so um, I love, love you all and um, I will see you all soon. I'm not sure how many lives I'm gonna get in between now and Friday. Um, but I will do a live when I'm on holiday. Okay. Uh, take care. I'll still be doing, um, so today's Sunday. So tomorrow um, is class. So I'll still be doing class, obviously. If anybody wants to join in with psychic development, you are welcome um, to come along. I've written down, what is it we're doing? I think we're doing past life stuff. Let me just have a little look. Yeah, we're going to do past life recall. Okay, past life recall uh, tomorrow in psychic development. If anybody wants to join in, it's five pounds um, entry, and it is, um, yeah, it is from seven thirty p.m. UK, um, two thirty p.m. Um, Eastern, eleven thirty a.m. Pacific. Okay, so. It's five pounds a go. You can pay via my website, which is psychicalley.net. And there is make a payment button on there. Um, or you can go to PayPal, which is guiding angels at btinternet.com, which is guiding G U I D I N G angels at btinternet.com. OK, so, um, yes, yeah, so if you wanted to join in and the Zoom code, I can let you know the Zoom code. You just um, message me. OK, and I will send it over to you. OK, anyway, take care. Bye, everyone. Bye.